All right, folks. The Char Murat, also known as Project Murat on World of Tanks console and coming to Blitz. But our version on PC is actually a premium tier 9 French medium tank compared to a console premium tier 10 or tech tree research tier 10 on Blitz. So a little bit of a difference but arbitrary stats from tier 10 to tier 9. It looks more like a large AMX 30 mixed with a Leopard 1 so German influence, French influence, but quad track system doesn't have the benefits of the Yo tanks. So get one pair of tracks blown off and you're still stuck. You cannot move like a little bit. So still at a disadvantage, but we have seen lots of quad track vehicles that doesn't have the benefits like the AE phase one, the ST66, so the list goes on and on but it's a big turret it's wide the coax is on the wrong side compared to the amx 30b as well as the cupola but that is german-esque of a remote controlled machine gun similar to the one that's on the Kampfpanzer 07pe or 07hk but i mean it's Beneficial to not have the commander outside of the turret. Also, three man crew, there's no loader, unfortunately. So, like the Char Future Project 4, in a sense, but this is more Leopard 1 of a body or AMX 30 of a body, so a bit chunkier, in a sense. Eh, I mean, it is one more pair of road wheels compared to AMX 30B so a little bit longer in the back end also for the turret to get artillery shots unfortunately but this thing has the gun depression the breach comes out of the turret roof similar to the BZ-176 or the Rhinoceronte etc so 12 degrees of gun depression that's a lot of gun depression but this panel right to the side of the gun breach was the actual weak spot on the BZ-176 when he's gun depressed but you have to look at him from the side so this mantlet front looks thick on paper it's 150 but could bounce a few so if he's gun depressed possibly aim for this panel right here that might be the weak spot or aim for the cupola but uh, not a bad looking vehicle just it has competition, <laughs> mainly the Char Future Project 4, mainly. It's also 3 round clip, but that vehicle's smaller. <laughs> so, is it good? Remains to be seen, but design wise, not a bad looking vehicle, right? Lots of German influence. Lots of French and Italians use German influence vehicles, like the Leopard 1, but main stats, 3 round clip, 2.5 seconds between each shot which is a lot better than the 4 seconds with the Char Future Project 4 but penetration is not as good as the 261 or so on the Future Project but alpha damage is the same shell velocity about the same so APCR as standard reload time is 35 seconds for 3 rounds that's kinda bad it takes about 38 or 40 ish seconds for four round clip in the char future project 4 so you have one less round but you do fire quicker so better burst 2.5 seconds of aim time not bad ish i mean it's about 2.3 with the crew but accuracy could be better 0.35 eh. does have the 12 degrees of gun depression so gun depression is the main feature of this vehicle otherwise Play with the Char Future Project 4, right? 60 rounds, 3-man crew, fits all the bad chats, but 21.1 horsepower per turn ratio. Seems decent. It is faster to rev than the basic AMX 30 prototype, I believe. But eh, it's close enough. Let's see, AMX 30 proto at tier 9. I don't have the top engine yet, but actually, never mind. I have the turbo, turbo charger. <laughs> 
It doesn't seem that... Yeah, I have all turbochargers are medium tanks. Uh, 21 seems about... Mm, see, I thought it was about 18 on the AMX 30 proto, but... Oof. Alright, that's still fine, right? Sniper-ish. Hall Traverse is quick. Quick enough. Turret Traverse, decent enough. I mean close. It's close to quick. 1650 health. 150 at the turret front. 50 at the turret sides. 35 at the hull front. Hull sucks. <laughs> it's like a Lorraine. 50T, in a sense. Good turret. Garbage hull. View range. Eh, 390. Could be better. It's fine. Radio is standard. So, nothing really sticks out other than the gun depression. Right? Gun depression is good. DPM is questionable. It's an autoloader, after all. But accuracy could be better. Aim time could be better. It does have the burst potential compared to most French vehicles with about like three seconds, four seconds of waiting between each shot. So technically it's better burst, but uh, yeah, DPM is not great. This thing has the accuracy and the aim time because of the crew, but has better pin. 262, uh, 266, I thought it was 261. Hmm. But, oh, I have the modifiers with... <laughs> With the ammo tuning, that's why. <laughs> so ammo tuning, but mm, yeah. Oh no, I don't know how I feel about this. Those weigh 45 tons, which is like 50% more than the 30 or so tons of the future project. But 21 horsepower per ton ratio compared to without the turbocharger, obviously. 25, so it's about 22 or so. Let's just pull up tanks.gg So char future project 4 Base horsepower per ton ratio is 23 Has more health Same top speed Better pin <laughs> Better accuracy, better aim time Just takes a little bit longer between each shot Right? Shell velocity is also faster Hmm Ooh that's kind of kind of underwhelming for a premium tank, but then again, all premium tier nines are not that stellar, right? Not really. So shell velocity, yeah, faster on the future project. Let's see, high explosive anti tank, faster high explosive anti tank at 330 meters, oh uh, millimeters, oof, of penetration, but yeah, better pin on the high explosive anti tank too. But high explosive, 53. 53. High explosive is always high explosive, but somehow better propel it on the future project, which makes it go faster. Possibly. I don't know. I mean, why is the shell velocity slower, even though it might be. Is it the same gun? D1504? Let's see, is it the same gun? No, it's not. It's the AMX-30B's gun, the F1. Yeah, that's the tier 10's gun, right? Yeah, model F1, tier 10's gun. Penetration is about the same. Yeah, yeah, penetration is about the same. So it's more in line with the actual sniper cyclic guns, but hmm. It is an alt loader, after all. I don't know how I feel about this thing. This thing doesn't ha doesn't have the health. <laughs> Horsepower return ratio is also lacking by two, right? Camo is also worse by three percent or so. It does have better view range by ten meters. So possibly dispersion will be good. I doubt it. I, I really doubt it. So hmm. Doesn't have the infinite large repair kit, but then again, it's a premium, so offsets. But yeah, what does this thing have other than 12 degrees of gun depression with better burst time of the shells? But it's only three rounds in the clip. It's not like four rounds after 40-ish seconds of reload. So trade-off is about the same, same DPM, but you, you have the gun depression? 
So I'm getting stuck. I don't, I don't see what's good about this thing, right? I really don't see it. I mean, accuracy is kind of if. Aim time is also kind of if. But... It's a premium? <laughs> Most tier 9s, premium-wise, are kind of if. So they have been nerfed substantially from the super test. Like the Tiger Mouse, like the E77. Speaking of which, but... Oh no. I don't know how I feel about this thing. I really don't, right? DPM is already kind of crap for autoloaders, but... Ah, uh, penetration is also eh, workable, but it's not the greatest, right? It's not like 270 millimeters pen with 420 alpha damage, like with the Leopard 1, so... That's out of the question, but... Horsepower return ratio seems good, but not stellar. Top speed seems rather decent, but camo is questionable. It's... Uh, it's fine? It doesn't really strikes me as a OP kind of vehicle, right? I mean, unless the terrain resistance is off the charts, like it can go through mud real quickly. Fine, that's, that's a speciality of this vehicle, but for now, on paper, with all the paper stats, doesn't strike me as a intimidating vehicle. Not really, but let's talk equipments and fuel mods. So support tier 9 medium same with the char feature project 4 i've gone with turbocharger optics and vertical stabilizer because dispersion while moving is kind of crap for these vehicles but then again autoloaders always have kind of crappy dispersion medium tanks anyways but you could put i don't think vents vents don't really cut it nowadays I mean, you could, but eh, I would rather have turbocharger in the first slot. Optics for the second. You can actually spot for yourself sometimes, but... Yeah, there's nothing really that good put on this vehicle. I don't think enhanced gun lane drive is worthwhile or the better accuracy thing. So just go with vertical stabilizer. Usually, you're shooting and moving at the same time. Like poking up from a hill with the gun depression and poking back down. That is considered moving dispersion factored in, so vertical stabilizer and optics to spot for yourself and better mobility, slightly. Alright, fuel mods, practically mostly the same for all medium tanks, in a sense. Let's use a one I've completed, just so we can compare, but support medium tanks with complete... I think I finished the Skoda T50. Yeah, I did. So first one is better traverse or less penalty. The cutoff for me is 45 degrees per second. So you could use better traverse in some instances, but if it has like 50 degrees of hull traverse and turret traverse, go with better protection, less penalty to your damage engine and M or was it the engine and gun? It's not the ammo rack. That would be way too good. Yeah, it's not damage ammo rack, considered. Yeah, this one's up to you, but 45 degrees per second is my cutoff. Second one is dispersion while moving, or aim circle size. This is the grill 15 effect. So grill 15 has very good accuracy, but horrendous dispersion while moving, or traversing the gun. So if you're planning on shooting and moving, or even poking up from a hill, you're moving the hull, and therefore, Dispersion is more important than fully aimed, aim circle size. So I would say better dispersion while moving. So you can play like a gopher, poking up from a hill and poking back down, which is kind of important. Reverse speed or concealment. Now track repair is a different story. So you have repair kits for that or your crew, but this thing is 20. Horsepower per time rate, or not kilometers per hour reverse speed with decent horsepower per time ratio, but you have a turbocharger to help it too, so better reverse top speed as well. I would say better camo. Camo is kind of kind of important for sniping medium tanks. I would say better camo, even though 13% is not great, right? It's barely standard for a camouflage value at tier nine, but let's see. By stats, by camo, stationary camo, 
of tier 9 medium tanks. 17%. Oof. Coons Panzer. On the lower end, it's like 10% for the patents. <laughs> so you're in the uh, below average aspects, like a Cobra or Felice area. So you are at the mostly bottom of the barrel, close to the bottom of the barrel in terms of camo. Like assault medium tanks, like E50 or Centurion 7 1, right? So camo is not that great. I would say go with better camo. And finally, aim circle size after firing and the aim speed or reload time um dpm boost on the skoda t50 is actually kind of impressive 200 but yeah this thing dumps shell though 1.8 seconds between each shot compared to your 2.5 so interesting what the hell do i choose Better aim speed when DPM is like 200. Ah, DPM doesn't matter if you cannot hit the targets, right? If you cannot hit the targets, it's kind of suck. So, I would still say better aim time and accuracy after firing. So, DPM only boosts by like 100 for a low DPM vehicle. So, this DPM doesn't compare to a Skoda T50. Not really. It's like two, uh, 400 less. So, I would say better aim time, but overall, this vehicle feels kind of if, right? All premium tanks at tier 9 is kind of if for now, but gun depression, that is the main selling point of this thing. Possibly the autoloader, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this thing. Doesn't feel, doesn't strike me as a powerful vehicle, right? Doesn't really strike me as that. Doesn't have the crazy damage potential of a sniper medium tank so not like the leopard one's gun doesn't have a very good hash round so you could go like three round hash that's out of the question but what could you make or adjust this vehicle towards to make it more interesting uh making the auto cannon coax work that would be fun right that will, that will really boost this vehicle potential but I mean, if you're going to give it to this vehicle, why not every other vehicle with coax? So that's out of the question. Quad track, that doesn't matter much. The Yotank's track system, even though it's nifty, but I hardly see it in use or having a benefit of it using that much. So I've been playing the Yotank for Onslaught. It's not that crazy to have the double track system. Not really, so that's not really a big selling point. Having a siege mode? With this thing, possibly, but yeah, this vehicle feels kind of, kind of bleh, kind of bland. So if you want to have a autoloader experience, a French autoloader experience at tier nine, play with the Char model or Char Future Project Four. Yeah, play with this thing. This is a decent. This is a very decent vehicle. So, is it good? I wouldn't say it's too good, but it's like a 6.5, 6 ish, so not half bad. If this thing was a premium, then definitely a 7, but for now, it's pretty decent. But for this vehicle, so French medium tanks, you have a lot of options too. I mean, the Boresk is a classic option, so it's hard to play, but if you do manage to play it well, it's a very good vehicle, so. The rest is kind of kind of nifty, I guess. Revalorize, the AMX 13s turret on a Sherman, but yeah, I mean, tier nine premiums are not great. <laughs> tier nine premiums. Uh, actually, I've been having some decent luck with the UDES, but yeah, the TL7 sucks. T54 heavy tank sucks. The Object 590 sucks. So. Yeah, it's in the same slew of tier 9 premiums, but I mean, it's it's not a bad vehicle per se, right? It's like a 5 out of 10. It's middle of the road. It will make the job work or get things done, but I mean, I don't see anything special other than 12 degrees gun depression and rather faster burst damage potential. But other than that, eh, could use some benefits for aim time or accuracy or one more shell in the clip. If this thing has four rounds in the clip with the same reload, it's much better. But for now, eh, 
it's workable, but it, it could work. I would say as a premium tank, 5.5 .5 out of 10. But as a normal tank, without any other premium tank status, performance performance wise, 5 out of 10. So there you go, folks. The Charmer Rat coming to PC now after Blitz, after console. So yeah, sometimes the console and Blitz are test beds, including the Russian server, in a sense. But eh, better to have it than not. So as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. あなたの言葉に頷き信じた私を一人置き去りに時は過ぎる見えていたはずの未来も指の隙間をすり抜けた戻れない日々のかけ